I and love, a beautiful stone. I love that stone because uh, you can't get that stone today as easily. More of the older pieces have that particular stone. This is a piece by Iola Ikutilak. Uh, this is from Lake Harbor. Uh, passed away this winter in a snowmobile accident. Oh. Um, this is a piece from 1985. <laughs> it's a very fine piece. And it was the beginning piece on a series that he became very famous for later in his life, since 85, the last 17 years. Um, he had been carving after this a series of men or women standing up like this in transformation between male and animal feature and holding babies or animals. But this was a piece which is very critical to that first step in what he did. It's, it's, everything came derivative from a piece very similar or this piece itself. I, I can't say this is the first piece, but it's, since it's 85, um, it's pretty early in terms of this creation. You mentioned transformation, and right. that's an important part of their art, transformation And their art. culture. And their culture, and you will explain that yes, eventually. Yes, I will. He's wearing in this his complete outfit, coat, which goes down to the floor and um, actually has a, a hood that would pull up on behind his back. This is a, a piece of two shaman. And shaman in their culture are very powerful. They could be like our priests or rabbis. Uh, they are called upon to uh, help the community when they are starving. Um, to help them uh, get rid of evil spirits that are invading the community. Uh, and this is not limited to ancient times. Uh, this is today, too. They do have shaman today. Uh, we asked you know, precisely, do you have shaman today? And we were told, absolutely. And we said, could we meet one? And they said, basically, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, in this case, the shaman uh, is struggling with another shaman. and. One of the shaman is turning into, uh, I believe, a walrus. You can see the two yes. tusks coming yeah. out. Wow. And this is part of their transformation concept, that, mm -hmm. that humans could take on the shapes and the spirits of animals to help their community. A very powerful mm -hmm. piece, um, very fine stone, and a, a really nice carving. What's wonderful about the carvings is not only do you have the shapes, but you have movement and you have the texture and color of the stone that mm. produces a feeling as you look at the carvings. It, it moves you somehow, somewhere inside that you might not even know exists. It just speaks to that inner self. 